When looking into Ohm's law, you soon find that there are what are called ohmic and non-ohmic conductors and components. In this video, we'll explain exactly what ohmic and non-ohmic conductors are and explain the differences. And we'll also show some examples of how these components respond by doing some simple tests and measurements. It's best to start by looking at Ohm's law. This states that the current flowing in a circuit is directly proportional to the applied potential difference and inversely proportional to the resistance in the circuit. In other words, this means that by doubling the potential difference across a linear circuit such as a resistor, the current will also double. However, if the resistance is doubled, the current will fall by half. The standard equation that covers Ohm's law is V equals I times R. And this equation can be manipulated so we can calculate any of the variables if the other two are known. For example, R equals V divided by I, and I equals V divided by R. Ohmic conductors or components are ones where the resistance remains the same, whatever the potential difference. The ratio of V to I remains constant, and we should get a straight line plot if we look at a graph of current and voltage. Let's take a simple circuit of a variable power supply and a resistor. We can measure the potential difference in current for different values of input voltage. We set up the circuit and then measure at 0 volts. Then move up to 2 volts. Then 4 volts. 6. And then 8 volts. And then we reverse the input supply because it's possible the resistor could have a different characteristic if the potential difference polarity is reversed. Again, we measure at 2 volts, 4 volts, 6 volts, and then 8 volts. Plotting the current voltage characteristic, here we see that it forms a straight line within the limits of experimental accuracy. This means that this resistor like most other resistors, follows Ohm's law and can be called ohmic. But there are many other conductors and components that are not ohmic. They do not have a straight line IV characteristic when plotted. Let's investigate. One common example is that of an incandescent light bulb. A simple test shows there may be an issue. The resistance using a ohm meter shows that the bulb has a resistance of around 4 ohms as we see here but its ratings show that it consumes around 0.3 of an amp at 3 volts, and this gives it a resistance of 10 ohms. Using two digital meters, one set for voltage and the other for current, as before, we can take readings for the bulb at a number of voltages. We must do this for both positive and negative voltages to make sure that it has the same characteristic both ways around. From the readings we took, we can plot the current voltage curve, and from this we can see that the resistance increases as the current increases. This results from the temperature increase in the filament of the bulb. This means that an incandescent bulb like this is non-ohmic because its resistance changes with the applied potential difference. There are many other devices that are non-ohmic. Another common one is the semiconductor diode. These components are used in many forms of electrical and electronic circuit. If the voltage and current for a semiconductor diode like the one shown is measured, we see that it has a characteristic like this. It conducts in what is called the forward direction after an initial turn-on voltage is exceeded. However, in the reverse direction, it doesn't conduct at all. So we can see the semiconductor diode has a non-linear relationship between current and voltage, and therefore it is also non-ohmic. In this video we have seen ohmic and non-ohmic components and their operation. An ohmic component has a linear relationship between current and voltage and therefore has a constant resistance with voltage. And we also saw non-ohmic components that do not have a linear relationship and therefore they do not have a constant resistance for different voltages. Music